Uh, my name's Amy Harvey and I'm playing Leanne. Um, Amy Harvey uh, is extraordinary, really, because she's, um, I mean, she is, uh, I think she's 14, but, but, but she seems to have a great deal of maturity. Um, and, and that maturity you can see in her face. Her face is, 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 is much more advanced, I think, than um, she, she sort of has a Heather Graham type of, uh, of appearance. And so she's a, she's a tomboy, but she's also discovering her sexuality and she fancies bingo. Um, and I think that, that, you know, Amy has all of those qualities. I like the fact that she has braces too. Um, and uh, again, her, her accent and where she's from, she's as close to uh, the char character as Leanne as I could have possibly found, I think. Uh, I am a little bit like my character. I'm a bit boisterous at times, a bit adventurous, not as, as naughty as my character is. I don't go bunking off school and stealing mopeds. My agency got me the audition and um, I went to the first audition and got through. Went to the call back, didn't hear anything for ages and then I got the phone call while I was in school telling me that I got the part so I was thrilled. Correct me if I'm wrong but I believe these lot are still here. They didn't run off with their tails between their legs. No, that's uh, a real man. Yeah, I didn't say that. You honestly think that these kids as you call them have shown no maturity or strength here today? Yes I do. No you don't. Yes I do. I don't think so. The script's dark in places, so um, me and my mum had a chat about it and he had a word with Julian and everything was fine. The, um, the actors were all really good with me and it was just fine, it was very comfortable. Your mum said it's going to look just like a little yeah. <laughs> Hold it there, come on, quick. I'm trying to push the moped. Why can't he yeah. go up and It's heavy. Why, why can't he push the moped? What? Why can't he push the moped? Because I'm a midget, OK? <laughs> Happy now? <laughs> First of all, the boys are a bit like uh, minding their P's and Q's and stuff like that, but I think they've let go a little bit now and they just treat me like one of them, thank God. I'm Kieran Joyce and I play bingo. And Kieran is 18, playing down to, 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 to 14, 15, and he can do it convincingly. Um, uh, Kieran's sort of like, uh, just seeing him in the rushes, I was quite surprised actually at, at uh, his, his similarity to, to River Phoenix um, in Stand By Me, which is completely unintentional. I just, I just thought, well, you know, he has a certain sort of appearance, I think, that, that, that's going to work for the film um, in terms of Bingo being, the, you know, the ladies' man, the, uh, the leading man in the group. So, uh, and kieran has got a lot of energy and a lot of experience, so um, he, he was perfect for the part of Bingo. I got the part of Bingo, um through through the agency that I'm with, Atsley, based in Cardiff in South Wales. Um, what it was, my, my agent specialises in kind of young actors and um, he holds like a, a weekly workshop class. Uh, basically, um, Julian attended, Julian, our director, uh, attended one of the classes one day he, um, and basically kind of sat in, in the corner and asked my agents, you know, to, to make us act out different scenarios and stuff. And I think he just kind of sat through some of the classes and just watched to see, you know, if anyone could play the characters, you know that he had, he had co-written. It is it's, it is a really good atmosphere on set, and Julian is he is a good director to work with because he manages to get the best out of you as an actor without patronising you, without sitting you down and saying right, if I was you, I'd be. Yeah, just say you know, just try it more like this or edge more towards this way. And it is a good atmosphere because the crew are really nice. All our crew, our camera crew, our sound crew, you know, they're really nice because you can. I think a lot of a lot of adults on crew, you know, see they work with, you know, children under the age of 16 where there's restrictions with hours and stuff and think, oh, but they've all been really, really, really cool. Um, Ryan Conway and I play Muggsy. Ryan's the youngest in, in, in the troupe. Um, dare I say he looks a little bit like M Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> but um, uh, he, um, he's sort of the, 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 the scamp of the group. He doesn't have a lot of dialogue, doesn't speak that much. Um, uh, but he's always being picked on. So um, I just thought that um, what attracted me to Ryan was this sort of, uh, you know, uh, urchin appearance. Um, and uh, I went for his look first and, and was glad to see that he could act too. Magsy is a 13 year old boy who is, who is well known in the gang, I think. Well known to be the wimpy, the laid, he's not really, he's laid back, but like when it comes to danger, he's like really away. He gets pushed around a lot by Bingo. And if he had a, like a brother, I 
they probably get pushed around by him as well. Yeah. I got into a drama squad called Pete's Workshop on City Road in town in Cardiff. And then I went for an audition. The first audition was with a lot of people. And we had to like do a scene out of the movie. And then we went to a single audition where we had to go for the script. It was ages until I got the news. And then they bugged me saying I got a part. Julian, um, I think he's laid back, but he knows his stuff. Like, if you're not doing it, I'll tell you you're not doing it, and he'll tell you what he wants done. But I think it's kind of like what he should do. Uh, my name's Darren Evans, and I play Jonesy. Uh, Darren is Jonesy. Well, da Darren's a very good actor, um, and uh, he um, originally, when he turned up, um, you know, he. He's, he's from the Valleys and he has a very specific Valleys accent and I thought, oh, that's not going to fit into the, the slightly urban Cardiff Barry type of um, palette that I wanted to draw from. But then I thought, well, why not? You know, and his name's Jonesy, so, so he, he, you know, people move about. Um, so it'd be quite nice to have a bit of that flavour in there. Um, but again, he's 17, playing down to 14. Um, so uh, I think that helps. It helps with our hours. We can work more hours with Darren and Kieran. Um, uh, but you yeah, know, Darren's a very talented actor. It was via my agent, really. He just called me up one day and he said that there's a big feature film called Summer Scars going on. And he said, do you want an audition? So I said, yeah, that's okay. So I got onto Cardiff and met up with the director, Julian, and we went through one or two of the scenes, rehearsed the scenes. About three weeks later then, my Agent phoned me back up and he said he'd like you to play the part of Jonesy. So, oh, I was chuffed a bit, chuffed a bit, because once I read the script, it, it was obviously an amazing script. It had a bit of everything, and you know, in some parts it had comedy, and then it switched from comedy to drama within a split second. And I just thought all the characters were clever, and the storyline was clever. Just the old, just the old, just the old idea of the script. Basically, it was all fantastic. Ever since you were seven, I took part in plays in schools and I've always wanted to do it and my drama teacher told me that I had some talent so I decided to take it up from there. My character Jones, he's kind of, he's kind of the mouthy, mouthy kid but uh, when it comes, when it comes really down to the, the nitty gritty stuff he, he hasn't got a bottle and he, he just sort of chickens out and he looks up to the character Bingo quite a lot I think he just wants to be just like Bingo and you notice that throughout the film many times, you know, he's always trying to act like him, always giving it this and giving it that, always trying to be the character that Bingo is. Uh, my name's Jonathan Jones and I'm playing the character Paul. Jonathan's a sort of a, a quite a different animal uh, to the rest of them, in the sense that um, most of what he does, he, 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 he just, it's almost like he doesn't act, he just is, he plays himself. Um, and that lends itself very well to film acting. He has uh, an incredible sort of um, a cheeky uh, charisma um, that, um, and a sort of an understatedness to everything too that, that, that might mean that his performance could be the strongest in the film. This is the first major film I've done, like major part. Done a lot of extra work, a couple of uh, like mini movies. I thought it was a really good script, to be honest. Uh, Paul's got a younger brother called Ben, and uh, they were involved in a car crash, which meant Ben couldn't work. So Paul's always felt guilty about that, and he's he's always looked after Ben because of that reason and the fact that it's his little brother. Also, that um, Paul's he's sort of the leader of the group. No one will talk down to him except Bingo, and then he puts Bingo back in his place when he needs to. Well, go away, Paul. Who do you think you are? Fed, get lost! Come on and start me. I don't care how big you are, Paul. I'll drop you. Come on and start me now. I will! Come on and do it! I'll, I'll bust the cap in your ass! <laughs> I found the part where, uh, just after my brother being, before he could have been killed, that was hard to get into. It took me a couple, about an hour to get into the character, like, because I had to cry. Eyes. Open your eyes and you can keep one, otherwise I take both. It's up to you. But please don't hurt him. Actually, I don't think I'm liking him at all, really. It's been a challenge, like, to get by him. 
but it's been quite good.